Thank you for having me. Again, my name is Max Porterfield. I'm the president and CEO of Calinex Mines. We're focused on two prolific VMS districts in Canada, in the Flin Flon District of Northern Manitoba and the Bathurst Camp of New Brunswick. To understand the Calinex today, it really pays a, a moment to look at the history of the company that dates back to 1927 when I IPO'd with a focus on exploring four VMS deposits in the Flin Flon Greenstone Belt of Northern Manitoba. Throughout the company's history, it's had a number of uh, economic discoveries uh, found by the company or other people exploring on the company. Most notably, HUD Bay discovered the 777 mine, which has a two and a half year mine life today uh, that went to production in 2004. In 2011, the company was split into two entities. Calinex was spun out of that and contains the exploration portfolio in the company at the time. And then I joined the company in mid-2014 and refocused the company, because uh, at the time it was focused uh, on graphite. Uh, we refocused it to explore for these high-grade zinc, copper, gold, and silver VMS deposits in Flin Flon. And then mid-last year, at the bottom of the zinc cycle, we used an opportunity to expand the company's project portfolio um, by moving into the Bathurst camp, again with the zinc dominant VMS deposits. Quickly looking at our capital structure, we've got 77 million shares outstanding, $8 million in cash. Trade on uh, average uh, today, it's increased about 400,000 shares per day, and we've got roughly a $28 million market cap. Uh, pretty nice uh, supportive institutional shareholders, the largest of which is resource capital <coughs> funds that run, uh, own roughly 12.5%. Uh, they're a private equity fund based out of Denver and Perth. And then we also, most recently, in our 50 cent financing that we completed in November of last year, brought on Rick Rule and the rest of the Str uh, Sprott Group uh, through that placement. And then we'll kind of go ahead and, and, and uh, go through the share price performance, uh, where you can see here we had a rather dramatic increase on a discovery hole that we announced uh, in roughly October of last year. And then with some recent step backs, uh, just immediately after we pulled off of that. So I think it's a great opportunity to reevaluate the, the company in terms of looking at adding to your position or, or starting a new one. Uh, I don't have a technical background. My background is focused on the capital markets. With that being said, we had a complete rebuild of the technical team uh, once we joined the company and refocused back to exploring for these uh, VMS deposits. Our chairman, Mike Mazlowski, is a member of the Canadian Mining Hall of Fame for the discovery of 13 mines. 12 of them being VMS in the Flin Flon Greenstone Belt, the largest of which being the Trout Lake Mine they discovered in 1982. Our chief geologist, Jim Piquel, uh, won the Bill Dennis Award for the discovery of the 777 mine. And then our chief geophysicist, Alan Valls, won that same award for the Lawler Lake Mine, which is a very high-grade, large uh, zinc gold mine uh, in the Flin Flon Belt uh, over in the Snow Lake area. So collectively, our technical team has been associated with the discovery of three of the four largest mines in the Flin Flon Greenstone Belt's history, as well as numerous uh, others uh, worldwide. You might not, uh, for those that are uneducated in terms of what is a VMS deposits, it's uh, short for volcanogenic massive sulfide deposits. The reason why we like them is because they're high grade, they're polymetallic, and they occur in clusters, making up known mining jurisdictions in, in the case that we're uh, exploring in the, uh, the Flin Flon and Bathurst camp. Uh, quite simply, you can see here, and we'll kind of go over this in an area, but below this is where you'll see the alteration zone that's going to come up in a moment. But it, they occurred uh, hundreds of millions of years ago by um, ocean water being sucked in underground in this volcanic source uh, where it was superheated and then brought to surface uh, and deposited there. Uh, and then over time, again, uh, was left there for us to find. So in terms of where our exploration focus and our most recent discovery took place is in our property, our Pine Bay project in the Flin Flon Greenstone Belt. As a quick overview here, you can see the town of Flin Flon uh, up to the left here. That's where the, the 777 mine, again, has a two and a half year mine life. Uh, and they've been very public in the fact that they have not been able to extend life of mine or find a new discovery to feed into their facilities. Uh, again, the, the, the blue, came, blue claims are HUD Bay's claims. Our claims, you can see in red, uh, we control 100 square kilometers of ground in the Flin Flon district in the immediate vicinity of Flin Flon. We're the only exploration company that's actively exploring within trucking distance. Uh, our discovery was made roughly 16 kilometers away as the crow flies from Flin Flon. It's roughly a 25 minute drive out there. Those black dots are historic mines with the exception of the 777 mine. And then the gold dots are deposits on our project portfolio um, as well. And you can see that we've got road and, and uh, power access on site. 
The focus of our exploration to date has been at the Pine Bay project. We're going to include a, a new project we recently acquired into that exploration pipeline later this year. Now, the last true operator of the Pine Bay property, and it's a re recently consolidated land package that hasn't had exploration in the past 20 years, was Placerdome. Placerdome had a 30 million ton target based upon the very large felsic rock package, which has been host to 90% of the ore ever mined in the Flint Flon Greenstone Belt uh, that exceeds 90 years of continuous production in 32 mines. That coupled with a very large alteration zone at surface that's 700 by 1100 meters wide. Now you remember the alteration zone typically occurs underneath that volcanic activity is where you find it. In this instance, everything's been inverted, which would be your vector to the, at depth to find that 30 million ton uh, target. With that being said, we've been uh, numerous exploration campaigns there. We uh, made the big discovery by actually extending a historic plaster dome hole by 38 meters. That's where we hit 10.3 meters, creating 13.1% zinc equivalent. That's 6% zinc, 0.7% copper, 60 gram per ton silver, uh, 1.8 gram per ton gold, and 0.4% uh, lead. Now leads us to the step outs and a little bit of that recent um, pullback we had in the stock you saw. We did these uh, very large and aggressive step outs that were 300 meters below the, the discovery hole. Uh, keep in mind that the average strike length for a mine in the Flin Flon belt is 250 meters. We probed these holes looking for geophysics and keeping in mind though that the discovery hole that we hit when we extended Placidome's hold, hole was uh, very lowly conductive. Uh, that's because there's not any puritite in the mineralization that we've been encountering. So with that being said, when we probed hole 17 and 9502, as well as 19 here, we didn't see any big uh, geophysical conductor on either side of the hole. Uh, however, the lithogeochemistry, as you can see, which is in this bright red, which essentially is alteration, highly altered rock, was really vectoring us as well to this area. And that's where we just announced on Monday of this week uh, where we hit 2.6 meters of 3% copper. That was a 180 meter step out, very large step out, along strike and 70 meters below. Again, we probe that with a geophysical probe and it is uh, not showing up as conductive at all. You can't see it with the in-hole uh, um, uh, probe. What that has led us to uh, have creates great opportunity because now we have a 300 meter by 600 meter exploration corridor that we're going to follow up on and explore later in uh, late July or early August of this year, as well as that Big Island property that I mentioned to you. Jumping over to Bathurst Camp, we've got the Nash Creek Project. It's a 10.1 million ton resource grading 3.6% zinc equivalent. Where we're exploring deep, uh, deeper for underground mines in northern Manitoba. This starts right near surface, is be an open pitable operation. Uh, preliminary testing using dense media separation shows a head grade uh, between uh, six to seven percent zinc which is a very well-known technology. So with that being said, uh, again, it's got great recovery from a metallurgical standpoint with over 90% recovery for zinc uh, and healthy recoveries for lead as well. Uh, we're going to be testing over 20 targets. They're going to be IP, low, low resistivity, as well as soil anomaly targets to extend the known resource with the goal of adding three to five million tons and then publishing a PEA by year end. Now jumping over to the Superjack project, uh, and again, both of these projects have excellent infrastructure. Nash Creek's right along a highway. Um, again, there's a, a lead smelter right there and, and a power adjacent uh, as well. Now Superjack's within 15 kilometers away from the Brunswick number 12 mine. That's a super giant uh, zinc mine that was operated by Glencore that recently shut down. It's also 90 kilometers away from Trevally's uh, Caribou mine. I'm sorry, 50 kilometers, uh, Nash Creek is 90 kilometers, so well within trucking distance to that facility. What we're going to be doing here in this exploration gonna, uh, campaign is going to start in the next couple of weeks is uh, a couple of things, but the primary focus is on extending the size of the A zone. There's three zones, A, B, and C. The A, a lens is about 3.2 million tons, grading 4.6% zinc equivalent. Wide open uh, at depth along a 250 meter strike length where they're hitting increasing grades and widths. Uh, as you can see, that's demonstrated there. So with that being said, again, uh, Calinex is focused on zinc-rich VMS deposits in two prolific Canadian mining jurisdictions in Flin Flon and Bathurst. 
We've got a technical team associated with numerous world-class discoveries and accredited with three of the four largest mines ever discovered in the Flint Flon Greenstone Belt. We're well capitalized with $8 million in cash to move for these properties. Uh, so again, I encourage you to look us up at calinex.ca uh, and we're also trading on the TSX Venture under the ticker CNX in the United States, OTCQX with the ticker CLLXF.